We left Volga behind. The endless expanses of Russia stretch before us now. The bridge dwellers had finally decided to believe that we were not demons and let us pass. Anna was right. We invaded their world, and it's not up to us to destroy it, no matter how stupid it may seem. Electricity is a sin. Is that really worse than the lies we were told in the metro about how the whole world was dead and there was nowhere to go? Everybody in the tunnels bought that convenient lie. Once we reach Yamantau, we will at least know if that lie was justified. Since so far, we haven't met any signs of enemy occupation. Artyom. Artyom. Wake up, dear. Is he up yet? Artyom, the Colonel wants you on the bridge. See you later. Come on, wake up. Uncle Artyom! Uncle Artyom! Uncle Doctor has already set his shop up. Wanna go look? It's so cool. Here, Uncle Artyom. Ah, hi, Artyom. See my new place? Fit for a king, I must say. What do you think of this workbench, eh? Everything is within reach, yet there's so much space left. Most of the stuff you and the guys found outside and gave to me went into making this workshop happen. So thank you. We'll have to keep pitching in on this.
got the omelet. That should be enough, huh? Just like back in preschool, eh, Artyom? Instead of wasting steam, I'd rather you go down and stop that fire, huh? So, do you get this now, you doubting Thomas? I'm so excited, my hands are still shaking. Himself. This is incredible. As you can see, we are heading almost straight for the Yamantau complex. Katya and Chris tell me that the line there is in decent condition. Uh, surprising, really. Taking into account the number of priority targets. So, we can hope for a smooth sailing from here. It's a long story. Come on, out with it. Well, there I am, sitting on a beam, looking at Artyom milling about below. Oh, you are so full of it. <laughs> Artyom did most of the work. <laughs> that you did, uh, yeah, he did. But you don't have to interrupt my lies. You asked me about the vest yourselves. All right, go on. So, I see Artyom get to the door, and I think it's time I came down. So I do. But something just holds on to me. What does? How should I know? It's dark. Nobody around. <sighs> but I can't move. Those locals kept going on about size something. So I thought I was in a kind of a bind. So? So I just unfastened the safety and walked Artyom. down. Come on in, have a seat. Stepan's putting on a live performance here. So, Artyom, are you up for the jam? Come on, pick the guitar up.
How long have we been on the road for? I've been listening to the radio, too. And there was not a single transmission about any occupying force. There's so much regular chatter. So many stories. Dad says all those are coded transmissions, that they all have hidden meaning, but... Why would they be so secretive? Why aren't they using this railroad? Why don't they at least control its key junctions? Why did they not install any roadblocks? If they are even out here. This is the main transport artery, after all. Maybe they are not here at all. Maybe they never came here, or they are already gone. Though, where to? Remember? Neither Katya nor Crest have ever met them. Though, we seem to be doing just fine even without them. It's like Middle Ages. That Salantius is treating people like slaves, getting them killed. I can't believe they had it worse without his lies, nonsense, and human sacrifices. And us? We had been living down there for so many years, fighting each other. And nobody even thought you could live outside. Stay here for a bit, Artyom. This is great. I wish I could stay like this forever. Artyom, when you climbed those ruins back in Moscow, with your radio, did you imagine our life on the surface at all? A home, for one. A place where we could live. A log cabin on the outskirts of a forest. Or how about a bungalow on an ocean shore? Are you already? Plus, the further from Moscow we get, the harder they'll probably be to get. A oh, smoke break! That's good. This is one mean smoke. Damn, this is rough. Well, <clears throat> nothing we couldn't take. <clears throat> well, you are the right kind of guys. You, the Colonel, Duke, that guy did a swell job on that bridge. He's bragging about it like a child. He is a child. Really? No, a child. I haven't but... decided yeah. where I'm going to work. He is. Uh, 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 and what about the Tsar? Oh, you know, the Tsar was huge. It was scary as shit. Ah, yes. These sort of bad attitudes must stop. The ends do justify the means. Oh, I don't object. But not all ends can be called just. Uh. 